Regular 87 time region champs Chapman at home hosting Crescent in the first round of the 3A playoffs. First quarter, Chapman's Mathai Scott. We've called this kid's name an awful lot this year. He takes the handoff and gets a little crease, and he's going to finish it off from there. 6 0 Panthers. Next possession, Coleman Gray going back to pass, chucking it up to Bennett Smith. A 54 yard score for Chapman. They get a 45 0 win over Crescent. They will host Chester next week. The Daniel Lions all business on the hunt for their third 3A title in four seasons after getting bounced in the playoffs last year by a single point. This year winning by an average of 40 every Friday, leading Blue Ridge 42 to nothing. Blue Ridge punting, but that ball is blocked, spinning. Tristan Carrington gathers it up, takes it in, gives the Lions a 49-0 advantage, and they're moving on 49-2 for the final there. They will host Wren next week. Greer went undefeated in region play, earning a first round home game against Indian Land. Kicking off to begin the game, Connor Frew for Indian Land takes the opening kick. He's got no real interest in being caught. Speed, you can see Indian Land scores first on the special teams play, but Greer would get it together. Chris Hall, the quarterback for the Yellow Jackets, connecting with Brock Diggins. Greer ties it up and they fight off Indian Land. Set 29 to 28, what a great win there for Greer. They will host Greenville next week. Region champion Clinton at home against Palmetto. Let's pick this game up right away. No score opening quarter. Clinton's Taishawan Richardson sails the throw. Jaden Jenkins with the INT for Palmetto on the Mustangs would get moving on an offensive march approaching the end zone. Brooks Jansen hits Ty J Evans touchdown Palmetto. They score first, but Clinton answers right back. Now leading seven to six Richardson going to throw it into triple coverage. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Caden Crawford grabs the deflection for another Clinton touchdown. They're moving on 42 to 18. Travelers rest traveling to Pendleton. Bulldogs a high flying bunch. We got a scoreless game opening minutes. TR's Colby Epps, Drew McKibben head top and McKibben won't be caught. TR with an opening touchdown, seven nothing Devil Dogs. You know Pendleton would answer and they do. Luke Gray is gonna find Abijah Webb right here on a quick hitting slant. Webb's gonna go the distance. The Bulldogs take a 12-7 lead and they get a 41-16 win over TR. They'll play at BHP next week. The Broom Centurions haven't reached nine wins since 2005. That could change tonight if they could beat Seneca. Bit of a bus ride for the Bobcats all the way up to Spartanburg. This was probably the game of the night. Centurions trailing 28-21 in the third. Jalen McGill for Broom. What a special player he is. A 45-yard touchdown run that ties the game. Final minute of the fourth. Seneca's Camsley Campbell ties the game at 34. The extra point makes it 35-34 Seneca, but here comes Broom. 10 seconds left in the game, needing the go-ahead score. Kamaje Bracket Brandon finds a seam, and he's into the end zone from 30 yards out with four seconds left. Back and forth battle, and Broom wins it 42 to 35. They will play at Clinton next week. The St. Joe's Knights rank sixth in 1A, hosting seventh ranked Hunter Kennard Tyler, a 9-1 Trojans team tied at six in the second. Kate Alt chucking it to Jackson Campbell. Okay, I see you, nine. Knights take the lead. They would go for two. They would get the two, leading 14 to six at that jun juncture. And they hold off HKT 38 to 24. The Knights will play at Louisville next week. I'll show you a few more scores from around the area. Dutch Fork beating Boiling Springs 56 to seven. Fairfield Central also ending Liberty's tremendous season 48 to seven. In 2A, you've got Newberry moving on against Saluda 24 to 15. Strom Thurmond over Landrum 49 to seven. Great Collegiate beating Pelion. 62 to 0 in Chesney over Batesburg, Leesville, 21 to 10. That'll do it week one of Friday Night Football. Friday Night Hits is in the books. The playoffs are underway for Chase and our entire hardworking crew. Thanks as always for joining us. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Have a great weekend.